Welcome to the virtual pinning ceremony for the May 2020 practical nurse class at WSU Tech. As we gather from a distance, we also recognize that this is the year of the nurse and the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth. How fitting that the year of the nurse coincides with one of the worst pandemics in 100 years. No glitzy marketing campaign could have showcased the work nurses do as well as this pandemic has. As we welcome the students to the profession of nursing and celebrate their accomplishments, I am pleased to introduce to you Dr. Sherry Utash, president of WSU Tech. Good evening, practical nurse graduates and congratulations. Tonight is your night. I am Dr. Sherry Utash, and I've served as the president at WSU Tech for the past five years. Friends and family who are tuning in live tonight, thank you so much for being here to help us recognize this next group of healthcare heroes. From reading over the rose dedications that these students wrote, I know that you have all served a vital part to these students' success. I want to thank you for the sacrifices that you have made and the support you have given to these graduates throughout their time with us. Graduates, I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you. I know nursing school is tough. It's a lot of memorization. It's a lot of late night studying and it's getting poked by needles by your classmates. Could you have ever imagined when you started this program that you would be facing a global pandemic at the end? I definitely didn't, and I'm sure none of us did. But you know what the last few months have shown me? That you are ready. You are ready to be nurses. The hard work, the determination, and the grit you have shown is exactly what we need right now on the front lines 
in our healthcare industry. And I couldn't be more proud to be sending this group out to fight this invisible enemy. So while I would much rather prefer to be celebrating with you in person and shaking your hands, please do not feel like you are being celebrated any less than the classes that have come before you. Absolutely, the class of 2020 will be one that we will all remember fondly and forever. I wish you all the best luck. I thank you for choosing this noble career path. And again, my sincere congratulations on your accomplishments. And I wanna thank you for being part of the WSU Tech family. Can you hear anything on that? The accomplishments of the practical nursing class. This has been a semester of losses. Jobs, savings, plans for the future are but some of the things that we are grieving. I know many of you have suffered these things too. With losses on that order, it might seem frivolous to feel sad about losing your formal pinning ceremony, but I don't think so. The PN pinning it's a big deal. It's important. And for many decades, we have celebrated in the same formal way with pomp and circumstance. Your memories of this day will be different than any other class before you because history has found you at this place in time. As your long spring break extended week after week, the truth began to settle in you were not going back to your classroom or clinical sites as you had done before. You did go back to class, but the classroom was your bedroom, your kitchen table, or your porch. You did this through Zoom, computers, and group chats. You tackled complex patient problems virtually, perhaps even in your pajamas, and it was not easy. But you, whom we celebrate today, did not give up. You've been tested, you did not falter, you kept going. We are grateful because we need you. You've been tested and you did not falter, you kept going. And although you're entering a very different world from the one you expected, it's a world that needs you now more than ever. Your patients need you now more than ever. Your profession needs you now more than ever. I know you're ready for what lies ahead because you are the PN class of 2020 and you did not give up. Congratulations and best wishes for a successful and fulfilling career. And now for your pending address, please welcome Megan Bayer, Director of Simulation Education. Congratulations, Practical Nursing Class of 2020. Our faculty is so proud of what you have overcome. It is truly the year of the nurse, and each of you have shown that by your dedication to achieving your goal of graduating from nursing school and entering the field of a licensed practical nurse. In this season of life, I have been reminded of all of the amazing nurses that have taught, supported, and impacted me over my 17-year nursing career. However, none as special as my grandma, Virginia Bright. In 1952, my grandma was in her last semester of nursing school at the Lutheran Hospital School of Nursing in Sioux City, Iowa. That year, heavy winter snow followed by a sudden warm temperatures in March led to the rivers flooding and one of the worst polio outbreaks in the country. Because bridges were out, my grandma, along with other nursing students, traveled by boat across the Missouri River to take care of polio patients at St. Joseph Hospital. Shortly after graduation, while working on a polio unit, my grandmother contracted polio. She spent just shy of 16 weeks in an iron lung, one of only 11 in the entire city. She survived with no long-term consequences. I only have speckled memories of her discussing these times, but one thing I always knew was that she was proud to be a nurse. 
She demonstrated the kindness, integrity, resilience, and hard work that is being a nurse. My grandma went on to raise four daughters and worked in urology, med surge, and rehab. She passed away in 2017, living her life to the fullest after polio. Much like my grandma, you are graduating in a time of uncertainty during a significant public health crisis. You have chosen to dedicate your careers to others, to helping the sick and protecting the well. You have chosen a career of service. Much like my grandmother stepped up to serve, traveling by boat to help the vulnerable, many of you will travel in your community, put on your uniform, don your PPE, and serve and protect our most vulnerable citizens. And we thank you for that. You have overcome the challenges of nursing school, which are many, while navigating the life-altering implications of a global pandemic. It is truly the year of the nurse, and your class gives me hope. Hope for our world, nation, state, hope for our community, and hope for the future of nursing. Congratulations. I am so proud to call you a colleague. Please welcome your classmates and fellow graduates, Rachel Sample, Kirsten Hicks, and Amber Beigel. What an honor it is to be speaking to all of you today as I stand here representing an amazing group of nurses. I remember on the first day of school, walking into our large classroom packed with 60 eager but very nervous nursing students. We all thought that others knew better than ourselves, but it turned out that we were all equally lost. We had all heard the horror stories of nursing school, but couldn't believe that someone could really have as many hours of homework that would equal a full-time job on top of didactic classes and clinicals. I mean, they can't be serious, right? Fast forward two weeks later, we are all in tears wondering what the heck were we thinking? How could we not have believed them? They warned us, but I mean, they had a smile on their face the entire time they were warning us. The journey of becoming a nurse is like none other. And one day we have gone from feeling like we are on top of the world because we finally kind of got caught up on some of the homework to being brought back down to reality with a group presentation that is now due in a week. Or a pop quiz that just showed you that you really don't know the material nearly as well as you thought you did. And another thing that I think a lot of us learned is that the shoe drops while you're knee deep in nursing school. If something can go wrong, it will. And it will happen on one of your worst weeks of homework and tests. But this journey was not all tears and struggles. Some of my funniest and best memories are going to be from nursing school. I was blessed to be a part of such an amazing group of people. I'm pretty sure that we have each other's mannerisms down and could probably do a spot on impersonation of just about any fellow student or instructor by now. Anything from David's nervous laughter to Andy's ridiculously large words that none of us understand to Alex being excited when she aced her test after studying so hard. There are so many special things about all of my fellow co-students. I wish I had hours to talk about all of them and the amazing memories that we made and will forever smile and laugh about. I am proud to be a part of the graduating class of 2020. Our integrity, grit, and willpower have been tested over and over again, more times than I can count. But we overcame. Even when a pandemic was thrown at us the last nine weeks of school, we overcame. Now more than ever, we are needed. We are needed to advocate for those who cannot for themselves. We are needed to be the person our patients can depend on. We are needed. I want to say a special thank you to our significant others, our families, our friends, and especially all of our instructors. To our families and friends, I want to say thank you for dealing with us at our craziest moments. Believe it or not, but we do know that we look like we need to be checked in somewhere with some serious help. We're okay now, though. To our instructors, I want to say thank you. Thank you for not giving up on us. I know it seemed like we fought you all most of the way, and really, all you were trying to do was prepare us for the NCLEX and for the real world of nursing. So thank you for having our backs and trying your best to make us the best nurses we can be. Class of 2020, I love you all so much. We are all going to be amazing nurses. Never forget where you came from, why you're doing what you're doing. You were meant to be here. 
you were meant to be a nurse. Congratulations, you earned it. My name is Kirsten, and I am so honored to get to speak to you tonight on behalf of my cohort. I would like to take this time to reflect back on some of the memories that my classmates and I have shared. We have had to overcome some adversities in the last nine months, rather it be celebrating an engagement, finding out we're expecting a bundle of joy, celebrating birthdays, and even grieving the loss of loved ones. We have had a roller coaster of emotions. We have spent countless hours in clinicals, classes, simulation labs, tutoring, remediations, pulling all-nighters, drinking gallons of coffee and energy drinks, and sharing laughs between people who used to be strangers that we now consider family. We had laughs with Sheila when dancing around the classroom that Christmas break was upon us, and we learned new ways to remember wrist and foot drop with Sanika. How you doing? We also have attended way too many Zoom meetings to count and have learned the true meaning of flexibility like our future jobs will expect of us. I mean, how many other people can say they went to nursing school during a pandemic? But most importantly, we learned from Megan that with hard work, determination, and the best faculty around, we truly can become the best nurses that we can be. In the famous words of Elle Woods, we did it. Good evening, faculty, friends, family, and fellow classmates. We are living in an unprecedented time in world history. The world is uncertain, anxious, scared, and sometimes unrecognizable. The COVID-19 virus has brought the world to its knees. And at times, I, like many others, have seen the worst in humanity through this crisis. The one thing that redeems humanity over and over again are those that live their lives in service to others. We shouldn't forget that in this time of crisis, the world didn't turn to the Kardashians, the American Idols, or people's sexiest man alive for help. They turned to nurses. They turned to the people that have hearts molded to serve their fellow humans. A heart made for service, even if it is sometimes dangerous to their well-being. If you're watching this, you are lucky enough to know someone like this. The saying is, everything bad that can happen to you will happen while you're in nursing school. This has proven to be true for many of my classmates. And we have also had many personal struggles, divorce, death, a stroke, autoimmune disease, figuring out how pregnancy is going to work, guardianship of a family member that was unexpected, you name it. And these struggles, they often lurked in the shadows of our minds as we tried to study on minimal sleep, energy drinks, and vending machine food. Still, we persevered. Nursing school is not a cakewalk. I remember coming out into the hall after a test, looking for assurance that I wasn't the only one that just bombed that test. A few of my classmates joined me in my sorrows. And for those who didn't, hearing their high scores was joyous, but it also stung a little. Through the year, we traded places. We all experienced both the triumphs and the failures. Now, it may not comfort you to know that if one of us is your future nurse, that we didn't do so hot on a few tests. It should though. It should comfort you that despite sometimes failing, we are all here now being pinned. Why? Well, because it means that we were crazy and courageous enough to brush ourselves off and try harder, to risk failing again, but going after it anyway. You need nurses that are willing to give it their all even when the chips are down. You need a nurse gritty enough to fight for you until your last breath. We have sacrificed a lot to get here. We have missed family time. We've lost relationships. Some of us now have more gray hair. But I once heard a saying that if it was easy, then everyone would do it. So why, why did your loved one do it? Why did the person that you're watching for today do it? Well, I can answer that. I told them all many times, I love you guys. And I'm not sure how weird or sappy that is, but I mean it. They do it because this group, this group contains the most caring and wonderful individuals in the world. And I am proud to learn beside them. A few of them are tough, 
They're never afraid to speak their minds and they often do. But when no one else is paying attention, I see them in clinical giving a sweet smile to an older gentleman and his eyes light up. Some are quiet and never make a peep in clinical. I watch them. And I watch them as they hold an older lady's hand and they say, how many kids and grandkids do you have? And then their conversation is the highlight of her week. Some of them are quirky and I wonder how the patients are gonna relate. But then I witness great care given and smiles as I walk by the room. If you have given support to my classmates or myself during this journey, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Words cannot express what it means to have you behind us, cheering us on. Nursing is our passion, our purpose, and our life. Serving others is one of the things that we wake up for every day. To our instructors, thank you for pouring yourselves into making new nurses. Your words will echo in our minds as we make critical decisions. Your compassion will be a model for us when others cry on our shoulders. A part of you will go out into the world with us as we serve others. And because of this, you are touching an exponential amount of lives. To my classmates, thank you for inspiring me every day with your tenacity and the love in your hearts. I will tell you all once again, I love you guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everybody. To share more about the history of pinning, please welcome Denise Clausen, faculty and clinical coordinator. The practical nursing pin given to every graduate of the WSU College of Applied Sciences and Technology Practical Nurse Program cannot be considered mere jewelry or a reminder of graduation like a tassel or a mortarboard. Rather, the nursing pin has a history that connects each new WSU Tech practical nurse to every practical nurse who has come before, every nurse in the United States, and every nurse who has ever accepted the responsibility of the profession. The wearing of the nursing pin is a privilege earned by graduates of nursing programs across the country. It is a symbol of the practice of nursing and the educational preparation of the wearer. Most schools have a pinning ceremony to honor their graduates and WSU Tech is no different. The, the tradition of the nursing pin and the ceremonial pinning at the completion of a nursing program originated in the 1860s at the Nightingale School of Nursing in St. Thomas Hospital in London. Having been recently awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless service to the injured and dying in the Crimean War, Florence chose to extend this honor to the outstanding graduate nurses by presenting each of them with a medal for excellence. Wolverton Royal Hospital in England initiated the tradition of presenting all nursing graduates with a badge. In the United States, the first pin was presented to the graduating class of 1880 at the Bellevue Hospital of New York City. By 1916, the practice of pinning new nurses was common throughout North America. While nurses don't always wear caps and white uniforms, nurses proudly wear a pin. It is a treasured symbol of the association and everlasting bond with their nursing school, evidence of completing a rigorous mentally and physically demanding nursing program, and the recognition of the history and heritage of nursing. Each pin is distinctive, representing only one program and it identifies to others the program for which the nurse graduated. The WSU Tech practical nursing pin was, has two stalks of wheat representing the growth of students into nurses, the Nightingale lamp symbolizing the light of knowledge, and the WSU Tech logo. And now the WSU Tech practical nursing class of 2020. Afi Afanvi. Devana Alcalde. Moshan Amerson. Andre Ammons. Brian Anderson. Bridget Armstrong. Megan Bayless. Brittany Beatty. 
Amber Beigel, Adara Bogle, Molly Bottenberg, Whitney Brown, May Bush, Jacqueline Birch, Carly Campbell, Linda Kao, Karen Castillo, Angel Chavez, Anna Clark, Jade Coulter, Angela Coyle, Jane Kressel, Helen Brenda Culpepper, Shannon Davis, Shannon Dean, Maria Diaz de la Paz, Ricky Dillard, Taylor Fournier, Jean Marie Fowler, Tiffany Jean Gardenheim, Dana Gates, Kiana Grimm, Kirsten Hicks, Maya Johnson, Amaris Jones, Juliana Kelsey, Kellen Kaya, Mallory Layton, Caitlin Lamasters, Alexis Lewis, Alex Molina, Dora Nance, Sabrina Renee Nicholson, Chelsea Nightingale, Salome Nyangari, Adateo Odawale, Mary Persinger, Christina Picasso, Kelsey Price, Kristen Richardson, Allison Robillard, Mariah Rodriguez, Lauren Rodel, Allison Ryland, Rachel Sample, Claire Schoff, Tiffany Shufflebine, Audrey Sprague, David Suderback, Rebecca Folster, Shelby Thompson, Kathleen Thorne, Brianna Francis Van Skyver. Kayla Vizi. Marta Villarreal. Collins Wanyoni. Crystal Weldon. Amber Whiteside. 
Erica Wilborn. Alexis Wilson. Megan Wright. Andy Zabel. Derek Zaldever. Students, if you would please unmute your microphones, we will all say the Practical Nurses Pledge together. Students, if you would please unmute your microphones. I solemnly pledge to play the code of the Please join me. Join me. Thank you. 
have things now.